we bat or field? Oh, I said bat. Really? Yeah, gives us the edge. Runs on the board. Mm, good point. <laughs> I'm full of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever pep talk you gave them, it worked wonders. They were marvellous. <laughs> oh, well, I take it uh, practice went well. <laughs> uh, Zach was late, no surprises there, and Maury didn't turn up at all, but apart from that... <laughs> John is good. It's yes. terrific. Although he must be careful where he aims the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Poor old David. <laughs> They got it right. In yes, let's just say it was all rather unfortunate. <laughs> Funny though. <laughs> Cup of tea. Oh, do you have to get off? Oh, please. Not for me. I've got to get changed and head back to the shop. What's that? Oh, it's a job application for the factory. I was wondering if you could help me uh, fill it in. Oh, sorry. I promised Sally we'd talk tactics. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'll get the tea. I'm really glad you're here. What made you change your mind? I was bored. <laughs> so, where to from here? I think you know the answer to that. Nothing's changed. I know. And you still want to see me? On one condition. What's that? We have fun. When I step beside the wall, them girls go eight, 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 eight. Y'all still gone super eight, eight, eight. That low five super eight, bitch. I'm on that H. Can you stop that? Please, I'm, I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, cheer up, for God's sake. It's unfinished business, Jimmy. Not for her, it isn't. Oh, here, let me. <laughs> Where are you going? Out. Well, I, we'll come with you. What's up with him? Being a plonker. Hello again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guess who's on maternity leave? With full pay? It's a bit of a turnaround. It was Natasha's idea. Yeah, I know. Not quite the Iron Maiden I thought she was. Mm -hmm. And she's right. Uh, I do need to spend more time with her. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I love you, Mummy. Yeah. I've already got one kid, Jimmy. I don't need two. She needs changing. <laughs> That'll probably be my dad wondering where I am. Yes. Strangely enough, I didn't tell him I was popping over. He thinks I'm on a call out. He's going to find out sooner or later. No, he isn't. He can't. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm a big boy. I can take care of myself. Mm. Famous last words. <laughs> He's already warned you off once. He's dangerous. You don't get on the wrong side of him. Oh, what? I'm going to wake up with a horse's head in my bed, am I? We just need to sit him down and tell him the score. What? Tell him that I'm your bit on the side, you mean? No, I'm not having a go. I'm fine with it. But I'm telling you now, he won't be. As far as he's concerned, I'm still his little girl. Don't quite wear pigtails. Fine, fine. I'll play it your way. It can be our little secret. You are still sure about all of this? Yes. I just don't want to hurt you. Oh, shut up. Oh, let me... Do you know what? She shouldn't even be in there. Don't be daft. She's got to bring the orders in. This is ridiculous. Look, it was a joke. I thought it would make you laugh. Oh, oh, right. Oh, I see. Well, let me just, just give me a minute. Let me just check if my sides are, you know, from laughing too much because of your... I'm going to say, no, they're not. Look, she won't touch your radio again, will you, Moira? No. In fact, I swear in my life, Marlon, I will never, ever again fiddle with your knobs. Good. Which girlfriend? Which one? Miss Yo-Yo Nickers, also known as my dad's cast off. What the hell does he think he's doing? You and your family should be able to stay away from me. Is that a threat? What's going on? Let go of me. Is there a problem? No. Leave it, Dad. 
Are you okay? Yeah. You want to explain? She's got a bee in his bonnet, that's all. About what? Oh, it's pathetic. I caught him in the ladies yesterday with her. There's obviously something going on. Do you remember when we went camping in the Cotswolds? Oh, how could I forget? It rained every day, every day. You know me, you're well is. You are such a gentleman. <laughs> what, what? Do you remember when you fell over in the mud? It was hysterical. You went face first. Were we trying to jump over something? You were. You were trying not to get mud on your shoes. We ended up in the pub camp. <laughs> so that you could dry off. I'm so busy in town. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing, nothing. Oh, still talking tactics? Oh, well, maybe I should get off. I'll get your coat. Oh, I wasn't wearing one. Oh, sorry. Sorry, you've been here so long, I've forgotten what you were wearing. I can jabber on for hours, me always could. Isn't that right, Ashley? I'll see you to the door. Bye, Sally. Oh, bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, well, I could have been, but, you know, if I hadn't have said something, she's been here half the day. She was in danger of taking root. She means well. I know she does, Ashley, but she is just so irritating. It's not her fault she's on the team. Yes, I know that as well. <sighs> just one more day to go. And to what do I owe the pleasure? Oh, dear. Looks like I'm in for ticking off. You tell your boyfriend to keep his hands to himself in future. Maybe you want to elaborate. I've absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Kane, you're a bit of rough. Threatened my daughter in the pub just now. I'm sorry to hear that. But he's not my bit of rough, as you so charmingly put it, nor in any way, shape or form my boyfriend. Get your facts straight. I see. Well, <clears throat> sorry. To have wasted your time. Well, I had to get out. Either that or throttle her. How Bob lives under the same roof as her, I don't know. She's as stubborn as a mule. Yeah. Well, when you've known her as long as I have, you learn by necessity to switch off. Well, she's insisting on going to the match. To watch Bob or show face, as Madam puts it. So I'm left on me Todd. Run ragged, no doubt. Desperate hanging around the dead big like him. Hmm? Excuse me. Pot, kettle, whack. Oh, give me a break. I'm sorry, did you or did you not go out with him? Ooh, go out with who? No one. Come on. Let me let me just explain something to you, Moira. We were having a private conversation. The clue being in the word private. No, we weren't. Well, not anymore, we're not, because. What on earth is his problem? Beats me. 